So hey guys, movie fans, movie followers of this channel, today I'll be showing you my show cover collection. Now this will be like 10 minutes of me showing you show covers I own. So the first one is Total Recall. This is a 4K version. It's a really nice show cover. Um, and what show covers are, are like Blu-ray cases, but instead of being all naked looking or unclear. They have a little plastic sleeve. Um, and some of them really look nice. Um, some of them are actually really expensive. So that's Total Recall, which is a very nice flip. We got Spree. Um, this is a fine flip. It's all right. Um, I like the embossing. Um, so that's Spree. Uh, the next one is With Him Go, um, which has a nice slip cover. Again, it's very plain looking. I like the embossing a little bit. Um, I got a little curve over here, which is kind of like a bummer, but a really good movie um, that came out in 2020 that um, not a lot of people saw, but the ones that did really like this film, and I like it as well. Um, I haven't seen that in a while. Next one is up is Tenet, which has a very nice matte finish from cover. Uh, kind of glossy. Um, so that's Tenet. Um, very nice. The next one is the Invisible Man, which is a very nice, simple slip cover, but really effective. I don't know if this is very rare, but um, also a pretty good movie. Um, it's a nice flip. Yeah, Wonder Woman 1984, which um, got mixed reviews. It didn't do that well. Um, like Tenet, um, as an example, where they're trying to bring back feeders but during the time of release, but this one did not that good. Um, but decent foot cover, and I thought the movie was decent. It's not bad. Next one up is News to the World, which came out the same day as Wonder Woman and Feeders. Um, it's a nice foot cover and a good western. Um, so that's News to the World. Next one up is Promising Young Woman. Um, it's a very good dark comedy. Um, very nice for cover. Really simple, but effective. Uh, next one up is Fatal. Um, really simple for cover, but I haven't seen this movie yet, so I don't know if it's good or not. Um, next one up is Green Knight. I like the shine to it. The back is also very nice. Good movie. Um, next one is In the Heights. Which has a nice foot cover. Um, it's really simple. Um, next one up is Batman The Long Halloween Part 2. Which has a nice foot cover. Again, with the first one you can connect the hits. Next one up is A Quiet Place Part 2, which has a very nice, I would call it Criterion or Manda sort of cover. Very nice artwork. Um, so the next one up is Batman the Long Halloween Part 1. And as part with Part 2, you can, you can connect. 
pits. Um, it's very nice. Next one up is Nobody, and it has a nice embossing. Really simple for cover, but really, really effective for this good movie. Um, really effective for a movie like this. Um, next one up is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. A nice shine to it. It's kind of embossed. Um, really nice colorful colors. Next one up is Song the Hedgehog. Um, really nice embossing. Um, the back is kind of nice. So that's Song the Hedgehog. Next one up is The Last Full Measures. Um, not a lot of people seen this movie, but I saw it last year and I thought it was a good movie. Um, So if you haven't seen it, I would recommend watching it. That's interesting. It didn't do that well. <laughs> um, the year when it came out. Um, so next one up is Bad Boys for Life, which has a very nice embossing kind of really simple it's for cover artwork. Next one up is Star Wars. Ep um, episode 9, um, The Lies of Skywalker, I really like the visuals on this foot cover, it's really nice, the back is also very nice, um, the Disney, the Disney strips are mostly colorful, so the little effects. Next one up is Dodger Sweep, which also has a very nice foot cover. It's not glossy, but the textures are nice. And if you haven't seen it yet, I would recommend watching it if you're a fan of The Shining. Um, next one is Joker, and again, a really simple foot cover, but really effective because of the textures. Next one up is the Kill Team, which has a nice foot cover. Um, again, really simple. Um, for May 24th. A good movie. Um, next one is Avengers Endgame. Again, very nice shine to it. Very nice colors. The back is very nice. Next one is Quitter's Attack, which is really plain looking, but it's okay it's for cover. Um, they didn't spend too much money on it, so you can tell that, um, like financially wise, that the stroke covers are not that nice looking. Next one up is Us, which has a very nice stroke cover. I like Us, the words embossing. It's really nice. It's really simple. It's a really simple slip. Um, so that's the back. Next one is Captain Marvel, which has a very nice shine to it, embossing to it. Next one up is Toy Story 2, which has a very nice colorful background to it. Um, really simple, actually. But again, it looks nice. Next one up is Hop and Shaw, which has very nice colors, grading, a very nice shine to it. It really fits the movie because the movie is really fun. I think it's really fun. That might be subjective. Um, next one up is Light of My Life, which I haven't seen yet, but um, I've been hearing it's very good. Um, really depressing, but 
I might check this out one day. Um, I probably will. It's a really simple one. Next one up is Toy Story 4, and uh, one of the few reasons why I got this is because I'm like a creationist. So I like owning franchises, even though some of the films are not that good. I thought this movie was fine for what it was. Nice shine to it. Um, next one up is Shaft, which... Shaft, which had a very nice foot cover. Um, it's really simple, but actually the 4K was exclusive at Best Buy. Um, I haven't seen this one yet, so I don't know if it's good or not, but really simple. Next one up is the Out Yesterday, which has a very nice texture. I like the embossing of the title. But So overall, it's colorful. Next one up is John Wick 3, and uh, this must, so this is one of my favorite Swifts. The colors are like flashing, it's very nice looking the lane. The colors are embossed. Um, next one is Locked Man, it has a very nice texture to it. Uh, this one is really big because they have like a book inside. But really nice flip. Um, next one up is King Kong. Uh, my least favorite one out of the Winticklers I own. She doesn't have much like shine to it. But Nice foot cover. Um, next one is Watchmen, which has a very nice shine to it. It's very good. I like the wood tinkers. Probably one of my favorites is Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2. Good side, evil side. So, very nice. All work inside. I like the shine to it. Next one up is the Dark Knight Rises. Really plain looking, but really nice because it's like a 3D movie. The effects, the explosions. Next one up is the Conjuring, which has a very nice web cover. Um, it's the basement scene. Again, I'm not spoiling the, the movie, but it's a very, very creepy, very unsettling scene, but a nice foot cover to be included with the clap and the lights off. Um, next one up is Pacific Rim, which it's a pretty awesome foot cover, amazing foot cover with the... Uh, um, I haven't seen this movie in a while. The Jagers at the top and then the Kaiju on the other side. Destruction, non-destruction. Next one up is it's kind of a tickler. It's Ant-Man. Um, very nice shine to it. Next one up is Godzilla Fleeting. And it's a very nice one, Tickler. Um, it has Godzilla moving, so yeah, it was decent. Next one up is Jaws. Um, even though it's kind of plain looking, the teeth moving is very nice, and it's a nice booklet. So, very nice for cover. Um, I know this video is going longer than usual. Next one up is the showers with Blake Lively. Um, so um, with the foot cover at the top, you see for in the ocean, in the shark, 
and she disappears in the blood and the shark. So very nice folk cover. Um, I don't hear much people talking about this movie, but um, I really thought this was a good movie. And Jaws is a classic shark movie from back in the day, 1970s. So that's part one of my show covers. Um, I'll be doing part two really soon, soonly. But um, most of these foot covers were was from 2021 to from 2019 to 2021. Um, some of them were from 2014, 2011, 2013, so on, so forth. So that's it. Um, hopefully, you guys subscribe. Uh, leave me down below which one is your favorite foot cover which types of foot covers do you like and what is your favorite movie from the pile bye and have a good rest of your day